What is up you guys and welcome to a brand new vlog this week. I have not posted in like three weeks to a month. I have honestly just been super busy with work. That's mainly been the reason for the delay as it usually is, but it has been unexpectedly busy like out of nowhere and continuously being busy when it's not supposed to be. But you know, money. <laughs> so this week I wanted to do a little bit of a different vlog. You guys will definitely be seeing some of the fun stuff as usual. I have some good things coming for me this week and next week since it is my birthday next week. And this week I actually have a lot of birthdays happen for people like that are close like around me. So I will show you guys what I got them for their birthday. They have not gotten their gifts yet. Uh, but they will be getting them within like the next like three days. So you guys will be seeing that come in as well but um, Recently though, I have not been feeling too well. I have had a lot of I Don't want to say setbacks because it's not necessarily I mean I would say a setback but not in the sense that like I'm like I Don't know how to explain it. So I have been having a lot of like wrong place wrong time type of encounters um, a lot of negativity in my mind in like my body and just my bubble like just everything everything has just been very just overloaded and flushed and just so negative I don't know like how else to put it I personally am just not usually I don't feel like I'm like that or like I feel that way like all the time so it has been bothersome just because it's been putting me down and my energy and my mentality down you guys already know I am very open about mental health about my mental health so to have that on top of what I already go through like you know due to chemical reasons I it's just it's not a good look it's not a good feel it's not it's not bringing me anything good so this morning i actually like just today today is wednesday it is june 7th yeah today's june 7th um i'm sorry it's tuesday it's june 6th yeah june 6th but i called off work today there was just no way i was just gonna go in i i needed a break i needed to catch up on sleep i have not been sleeping well I have had like one thing right after another like if it wasn't one thing it was another thing and so forth and so on and I my life isn't usually like that especially when it's that many negative things like back to back um, but just just a lot I have just been feeling a lot I've been experiencing a lot and all of it's just kind of like usually things that happen like over a course of time not usually back to back in like a matter of like one month or like one week so I'm going to be doing a energy cleanse today. Um, I have two things that I really want to do. So I will be doing an egg cleanse. For those of you guys that do not know what that is, that from my understanding and how I always relay it is that it has more so to do with collecting the negative energy around you or like the evil eye type sense. That's mainly what I've been kind of feeling is that I feel like a lot of the negative encounters and energy is kind of being like inflicted on me i you can just feel it you can just feel it you can feel it from certain people you can feel it in the room you can feel it when you're driving when you are in your own home and it's just like this is horrible it's absolutely horrible i've never had this much put on me or i don't know if it's just a case of just bad juju just I don't know I don't know what it is but it needs to stop and it needs to just calm down and I really need to just get rid of what's here already so I need to do that so basically what you do is from my cases and my research not professional I'm just doing what I was told what was recommended by a friend and some articles that I read up on so I know that I have to take a cold egg and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be praying over myself and my intentions and what I want to come out of this. I have to basically just go ahead and pray over myself head to toe and I need to do the same to like almost every inch or at least corner of my home. So I will be doing that today. And basically at the end of it, 
you are supposed to crack the egg and put it into a cup of water. So I already have my cup of water ready to go and it is clear so I'm able to kind of see what results I get. And I was given a map or like a display of different results that could potentially occur when I crack my egg open in the water. Um, but in many cases, I know that some people say that their egg comes out black, it comes out brown, it comes out spiky, it comes out gooey, it comes out really watery, sometimes nothing at all. Sometimes it comes out in shapes of things and that's really creepy. Um, I mean, the whole entire thing might be a little bit creepy for some, but I heavily believe in the infliction of negative energy and intentions and it's just it's a whole different ballgame to be honest if you get into it but i will be doing that today i will also be bringing my dogs into this um and my port i guess where my rv is currently located i have to do a cleanse on the whole thing i kid you not that is just how bad it is uh, all everything that is potentially my energy or my space needs to be cleansed needs to be protected so i will be doing that i am bringing my dogs into this i will be giving them a cleanse as well um at that point i will be doing two separate eggs so i will have one egg for me and in here and one egg for out there and for my dogs um but i will be doing that my dogs have been encountering some horrible things as well unexpectedly ill um weird just weird weird things happening to them and um i don't know how else to like explain it just things that kind of inflict on like inflict pain on them um bothersome just like i said the unexpected illness little inconveniences things like that on their bodies on just uh, too too much um so where i'm at i currently do have people in and out of the property that I'm on and a lot of people do not enjoy my dogs they do not like their company they do not like their energy my dogs are very protective whether they are pits or not some dogs are just like that I'm not gonna put that breed on them like and say blame their breed that because their pits make because their pit mixes like that's why they're they are the way they are they have never bit anyone um, they are just very protective of their home they came from a very very crappy home might I add and past and just I don't really know what exactly they were put through but I know it was enough because it has physical scars and damage and emotional damage and we have done a lot to get them to the point where they are now and they are amazing with us I trust them to my full intention so when I have them bark at somebody I very much just kind of know like okay that no goodbye like <laughs> I can't trust you. <laughs> I heavily believe in that personally because my dogs can sense a lot. I'll just like any dog basically can. Um, they can sniff out intentions and true colors immediately. But because they are very protective of me, my husband, and our port, they are disliked heavily. So I feel like a lot of negative energy has been inflicted on them as well to make these instances occur on them. So I will be doing a cleanse on them and i swear i'm like expecting like their egg to be a lot worse than mine but yeah i just i need to do all of that and then to wrap it up at the very end i have some sage that i have been saving for a time that i felt like i really needed it so i have the let me actually open it real quick <clears throat> I have the one that has like rose petals intertwined with it. So I got this one specifically. Let me smell. Mm. Oh, that's what sucks is that like I hate the small sage, but then I love it as well because I know like it's going to linger for like a little bit, but we can get it out. But it's going to do some work. So I got, oh my God, it just like fell apart. See, look, that's probably how bad it is in here that it's just already like deteriorating. So I have the different colors of rose petals intertwined with it and I'm gonna go ahead and burn it and just kind of do the same thing. Prayer, intentions, all that good stuff around my area. This will go inside and outside. But this guy is supposed to promote love and passion which is the very two things I think is just lacking in my household right now. Just a lot. Um, so I like personally just got this one. I'm not sure if that specific 
like if this one with the different colored rose petals is only specifically for love and passion like all around like i don't know if that's just the store that i got it from or if that's just how it is i don't know people that are like really into this spiritually and into the sage i'm sure you guys know that answer um but i just saw this one at a specific store and i got it so that's what i wanted but i will be doing a little bit of this i will probably just light a little bit of it i mean enough because i don't have that big of a space like it's not like i'm gonna do a whole house like before i think i lit like a whole one i could do not but i had like a two bedroom two bathroom apartment so here it's only like a couple square feet <laughs> so i don't have to do a whole lot but i do have to do the outside so i will be doing that and i also ran into a snake this morning and that was what kind of triggered like we gotta go we we gotta we gotta just clean clean everything out because for the life of me i can't find it i went back to go try to find it with my uncle chris who is working here on the property right now and he was going to kill it for me but we could not find it so it disappeared i kid you not i don't know where it went i haven't seen it i've gone out multiple times since then to go out and go see if i can find it again but i cannot find it so i personally have had really weird encounters nightmares dreams just everything um that tends to involve snakes so this is where i kind of touch and dig out my spiritual side i don't like to show it just fully i'm not i'm not the type of person that goes to church like every single sunday i'm not that person um i just never really have been so but i do know where to go to when things like this get get rough i know who's gonna have the answers for me i know where to go i know what i'm looking for i know i know everything and i'm sure there's definitely some criticism on that like oh you only go and there's bad things happening to you and blah 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 i'm not even gonna get into it you don't know what i think what i do so think what you want um but in this case and in many cases, when there's usually this much negativity happy, ha happening, this is what I do. So this is what I do. I will bust out my Bible. I will leave it right out there. And I always correlate snakes, obviously, with evil presence of some kind. So the fact that I physically saw a snake, and yes, I know I'm out in the desert. I live in Arizona. It's snake season. I know that. Things like that do happen. But it's just the fact that it did happen. So he found his way over here somehow. He dug, he could have gone anywhere in the world, could have gone to any place, but he chose to come here and I need him gone. So that's just where it's kind of like, I'd rather be safe than sorry. I'd rather go and do the cleansing and stuff. And I'm not sure what it means. I'm not sure what sign that is. I'm not sure if it even has a meaning or a sign to begin with. But I saw it and that's what I correlated with and I, just am going to do the necessary steps it takes to protect me and my home and my babies so i will be doing that tonight i will be doing an egg cleanse on my husband when he gets home and he's never done it before i know he's going to be a little bit freaked out because he thinks i'm crazy not that i'm crazy but he doesn't like messing with this stuff and me i'm just a little bit too bold not gonna lie um so i will be doing this for all of us like no matter what because this is not it's not it's not busting man it's horrible and then afterwards today since i do have the day off i will be taking actually i don't even know because i'm losing i'm losing out on time i may leave my dogs here in the rv just because it is hotter but i do have some errands to run so i will be going to starbucks i want to type up a podcast script that i have had in my mind and i've been dying to get out onto some paper or just onto my laptop so i will be doing that as well i have to do my daily journal prompt and what else i do have to clean my car i'll see how that goes today i may just do it tonight here at home instead of the car wash because of how disgustingly hot it is but yeah i will be leaving my dogs in here it's just it's too hot they can stand it don't get me wrong like they're outside girls for the most part um but it's just it's hot and i don't know where that snake is if it is still even here watch me just be tripping completely and it was probably just sent from like an evil demon who knows um 
but yeah so i will be doing that so let's go ahead and let's get started so we can go get breakfast and starbucks and just have my home and my energy feeling 10 times better Like shaking like freaking out because I was doing my egg cleanse right now and when I got to I'll show you guys when I got to a certain area the egg just like cracked so I was focusing on this area over here and my egg just completely just broke like I dropped it but like it just didn't I had such a good grip on it I don't understand what happened but looking at the context of it, it seems like a normal, it does smell a lot though, it just smells horrible and these were good eggs. But from my guide, it says that I need to do, I need to repeat the cleanse, but I need to focus on the area that it cracked. So over here more so, this is kind of, it's kind of a mix, it's just the corner, it's a mix between where my space usually is and where my dog's space is. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab um, another egg and I'm just gonna keep going. I did prop open my door because there needs to be a window or a door open for all the energy to escape and leave from. So I do have that open, but I'm gonna clean this up real quick and then I'm gonna keep going. So I just finished my egg cleanse. This is the second egg that I went ahead and did. That was a lot. I physically, <laughs> I physically feel like a lot of pain and like energy just coming through me right now. It's so weird. And my hand still smells like that egg. Like this is a brand new batch of eggs and it stunk so bad. It just smelled sour. It just smelled horrible. Um, but I am going to go ahead and prepare go ahead and crack it open and see what we have so it says that I need to have a clear glass of room temperature water um, salt the water using table or sea salt usually using natural elements such as sea salt ground oh my gosh okay so I have to I have to do all this so this is sea salt luckily so I am I think I actually have here it is so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to take this guy, salt the water. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have like big chunks. I'm just gonna do that a little bit. Okay. I don't know what's good and what isn't. Following the addition of the salt to the water, you take a raw egg and roll it above the eyebrows and on the forehead in circular motion. Some roll the egg gently from head to toe. Okay, I did all that. Once this is done, crack the egg into the glass containing the salt to the water. Allow the egg to settle and observe what the egg reads for you. Once the final interpretation is made, more salt is added atop the egg and the entire mixture is flushed down the toilet. So I do know that I do have to get rid of the negative energy as well, so I would have to flush it down the toilet. I was told that before from somebody who's a little bit more experienced in this. but. Let's go ahead and let's crack it and let's see what we have. I have all of the different ways that it could come out right here. So what it looks like is just what it looks like. If it doesn't really look like anything, that has a meaning as well. So let's crack it and let's find out. Okay, so now that the egg is done, I just have to turn on the light really quickly. I'm gonna see if you guys can see it better, but this is what it looks like. It did settle, but it does have a lot of, let me turn this off. It just has a lot towards the bottom, obviously just the yolk and the strands, but it is very fuzzy and there is 
a shape to it that it's growing on the inside, but I can't really make out what it is, but let me see what my guide says. So, if the egg presents the shape of a face or a figure that resembles that of a person or an animal, there may be a person in your life that is the root of your negative feeling. So, let me take a look at this to see what kind of shape it's forming. Because it is forming something, but I can't tell if that's just an actual shape or, or what that is, really. It just looks ugly and really bubbly. And I do notice there is some black spotting towards the bottom. I'm not sure if that's just the effect of the salt being at the bottom or what that is, but... There, there is a shape, I just don't know what it... It doesn't look like anything. I'm not sure what that is. Um, the next one is if the egg presents a poor odor or there is blood in the egg usually present in the yolk there could be a sign of onset illness, either physical or mental. And both eggs, I really just have to wash my hands. That's what this is from. But it genuinely smells horrible. Like, I can't. Like, I went to go spray for breeze right now after this because that smelled disgusting. Which definitely explains the mental, the mental part for me personally. Um, if the egg water appears cloudy or murky water after the egg settles that may suggest that there is an ambience of bad luck surrounding you which is the driving force of any negative feeling it is a little cloudy i wouldn't say it's a lot of cloudy though i wouldn't it's more so stringy the yolk is very stringy which i think there was a reason that is connected here um another example is that the reason is that an evil eye could have been placed on you. The evil eye is a very complex element of the spiritual world and has various meanings depending on the context of the culture of discussion. In this case, the evil eye can be placed upon someone by another person in a means of um, jealousy or resentment in hopes that the evil eye will attract negativity into the person who is receiving its life. If the egg creates any resemblance of an eye, someone may be push pushing the evil eye upon you. And I wouldn't say this looks like an eye either. Um, successful removal of negative energy. If the water bubbles or there is bubbling in the egg, that means the removal of negative energy was successful. And that is definitely what this case is. It's just a bubble. It's a bubble and it's stringy. The yolk is just very stringy, but it doesn't create any type of shape of it, like in any way like i don't even know how else you see this way you guys can see what i'm seeing so it's very stringy and there is that like really thin looking bubble but that's that's it to me it doesn't really have a shape to it though not anything that i would immediately see and just go oh this is it but let's keep reading and see what else it means um, the next option could be the absence of negative energy. If the water is clear, the egg does not bubble, and there are simply no changes to the egg placed in the water, there is no detective negative energy that is necessary for cleansing. In this case, there definitely was. Um, so far, I think I just have the removal of the negative energy was successful, and then um, the onset feeling of mental or physical illness. Blockage is the next option. If there is clear webbing of the white of the egg, this may suggest a blockage in the ritual and alternative cleansing methods are encouraged. So that could definitely explain the fact that my first egg cracked and then I had to grab another one. In this case, that is what that is. It is the white yolk part that is creating that webbing. And it's not too bad. I've seen other examples where it was really horrible. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the sage as my second alternative cleansing option, so I'll be doing that. And then the very last one is successful cleansing. If the egg whites create a pyramid-like shape, it means the cleansing went well and the egg is ready for disposal. So, 
I wouldn't say it created a pyramid, it did not. It created the whole loop. It created the shape of a bird. Okay, so this is what I just saw from my angle. To me, I just saw it and I immediately thought of a bird. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and continue the other recommendations and my sage, and I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this process, but this guy's definitely gonna get topped with salt and will be disposed of in the toilet. Okay, so real quickly, I did go ahead and finish off the saging process, so I went ahead and did that for a little bit and now it's just kind of gonna go ahead and just kind of smoke out the rest of the area. Um, I did already do the dogs, but one weird thing about what I went to go flush down the egg down the toilet is that the toilet sucked it up. Like it just disappeared like right away, like as if I had flushed it and I didn't. So it disappeared just immediately, it was gone. Uh, I've never personally have had that result happen to me, but I already feel so much better in my home. It's just so, so much better. But that was an experience, and I appreciate you guys if you guys even watched this far <laughs> coming along with me and doing that. That was definitely different. Um, a lot of results that I just never have had before. So, this one you can definitely tell I was. I feel like I was more so right about there being something very much wrong and needed to be taken care of. So. I feel good about that, but currently it is about to be 2 o'clock, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to head over to my parents um, in a little bit, but I am going to go to Starbucks first, get some computer stuff done, and just keep seeing what I can do to protect me and my space and my family. I have already gone all over the world trying to find a trash can but like it has to be a specific trash can that I want it's the one that I've always had but I need it in black and I don't want like a step on one I don't want like a little a little flippy lid I just I want the one where I just like throw it in and it just like I don't know how to explain it but I'm gonna check Dollar General right now that's the last spot that I have before heading home and then I hopefully will find it I'm also needing my phone. Um, but yeah, so I did go ahead and do my nails this morning. They are for the zoo tomorrow. I did a face mask. I did like kind of a little bit of my weekly like skincare thing. So I am set for tomorrow because tomorrow it's going to be 112 and we are going to the zoo. And we're probably going to be there from like 10 to 1, um, which aren't exactly hot hours, but it's still going to be hot like no matter what. Um, but due to just the way the summer gets and the temperatures here in Arizona, the zoo does close at one o'clock during the summer instead of five. So at least we will have a little bit of an easy going day more so. Um, but tomorrow I'm completely busy. I have so much to do. I have so much to pack when I get home just to get ready for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna look for a trash can. I have to pick up water bottles and some bags of ice i believe yeah for my ice chest in the back but right now i'm gonna go ahead and order some fries for mcdonald's because i'm i'm just snacky legitimately not okay okay but i did find my trash can that i wanted it wasn't the exact same one but it has the same 
purpose. I mean, it's a trash can, but it does have the type of lid that I wanted. So I did end up getting it. Okay, so here it is. It is just a black one. And this is what I was looking for, was the swing top. Like one where I can just throw my stuff in and just call it a day. So this one's a 13 and a half gallon. It is um, half a gallon bigger than my old one. So this is our old one. We had a white one, but look, like I spilled, or I'm sorry, my husband spilled a candle and all the like juice from it just splattered everywhere. It was old, it was gross. I just don't miss it at all. So I wanted to get a black one now because the white was just not a good idea to begin with. So I already wiped it down. Um, this in fact today I have to take out some of the stuff that I threw. <laughs> my charger and my receipt, of course. But the trash can was, it looks like the trash can was $18, $18.50 for the hefty trash can. And then I did get another like disposable mop. I like to get disposable mops like just one time or one to like three times use. I'll use it for if I clean it out really good each time. Just because I don't have a lot of floor, like just what you see is literally just like what it is. I used to have a Swiffer and I just didn't think that it cleaned enough or thoroughly and this is like a game changer So like I really mopped this morning, but this one's old. It's already been used up multiple times So it's got to go but I live and swear by this mop cleaner Okay, so it's not necessarily a mop cleaner. It's a multi-surface cleaner, but it is the mr. Clean specifically for pets so it cuts through 100% of pet messes and odor and dirt and it smells like Febreze odor defense. Live by it, love it. It lasts like for me like two days thoroughly. Um, in here like the smell would just kind of linger. This is my favorite one so far. There is a gain version of this one so it doesn't smell like Febreze but it's not a pet one. It's just the regular one as it is. But this one, oh my, like I literally see just all the dog hair and all the mud and dirt and stuff just come out of my floors and it is amazing. And it leaves it smelling clean. So I did do that. I picked up some water bottles way over there. That's what that is. And I just gotta pick up around here because there's just a lot of stuff that I left and I have to do laundry and get ready for tomorrow. My girl is good. Back already? I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> what if, like, you just walk in and doing some shit and she don't know what to do? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she ain't. She already does that. <laughs> <laughs> Assert <laughs> dominance on the giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that was just the opposite. Just... <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get, we gotta get one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lego. Yes! It's like that one video of the dog or The closest encounter we'll get today. <laughs> it closed? It closed? It closed? Really? No, it's not closed. No, no. What's the draft? That's for the temper. That's a hard right there. Probably touch a family vibes. Huh? <laughs> Look at the flamingo. Where? Right there. <gasps> They're fighting. God damn. They throw hands. <laughs> they throw hands over there. Why they throw hands? Big body. Big body bands. Good flash, y'all. How cute. 
Loving it. You're just pushing off the wall, do you see that? I know. Oh, look at this one coming up here. <laughs> oh, cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was kind of cute. Hmm? This was kind of cute. You just chilling. Yeah. Can I take a picture of me? <laughs> okay, so how I look and how the rest of us look is a mix of sweat and water from the ice chest that we tried to cool us down with. But we are going home. My ass Already. cracks sweaty. That's disgusting. We are heading home early. Not heading home, but we're gonna just end the zoo era early because it's hot. It's 112 today. 115 actually, I think. And this was just a bad idea. We started too late. It's already gonna close soon. We keep having to take breaks. We're dying. They're dying. So the baby's okay though, so that's all that matters. Baby's okay. Baby filled He's with water. Right. He's alright. You know, Baby filled with water is okay. <laughs> This is a dog that matters. Stroller. Protect the baby at this point. Shout out to Mama Colby Jack Cheese for letting us borrow her stroller. This is a fucking dog stroller. <laughs> we stopped for some Wendy's before we all died. We had to refuel. How's everyone's day? <laughs> the ass pro shop went well. My ass, ass pro shop. <laughs> Trying to find a toy store for Colby at the Scottsdale Fashion Square. Mama. Where is everybody? All I see is Casper's like shoes walking. <laughs> <laughs> ah, almost died. I got a ten dollars shirt from Cotton On. Um, I recorded it, but I didn't put it up yet. Okay, where is? Oh, right there. I'm horrible. Okay, I think we're going the right way. So I got a shirt and then at Bath and Body Works for literally three dollars I got a sanitizer holder that usually came like comes out in the summer. How cute. <laughs> Love it. It's cute Casper. We have Sage over here dropping it. Oh, back up. Tracy. What up? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Ernest, you guys know Curtis and Colby out here fighting crackheads, trying to ruin our night, but we gon' we gonna let it go. Just waiting for Alyssa to get here and we'll get bowling. So I told security about the guy that was outside, got really hostile with me, a couple others, but like I said, it's all good. We're gonna keep going, and we got three of them in here playing ball. Let's see who wins. It looks like right now we got Tracy in the lead with 45. Bro, fucking pause. Nice. Oh, it's a tie. 50-50. And then 32. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Nice. Ayo, 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 ayo. Yeah. That's all we wanted. No, it's really dead ass. It's only so easy. Like, I'm just like, oh, you're friends, you're friends. Yeah. I'm like, this is not like this. Yeah, not like this, bro. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this.
Yeah, you're not just walking up on the people. Say, hey, like, not like that. Right, and then like, stamp yourself out, like, you like, drugs. Whoa! Hi, Dean. Alyssa! Bumpers! No bumpers! Bumpers! Yes! No. Yes! Okay, we're doing bumpers. I am I we're at Bolero in the Mesa. There's nine of us here right now. And we have two lanes. So we will see who wins. I have nails, so I can't even like cup the bowl in the holes. I have to like roll it with my hands. So I'm I'm out. But I gotta get some food. Lane eight. Okay. What's up everybody? <laughs> hey. Yeah. You really say it. hurry up. Did it fit all of our names on the right one? Oh, yeah. 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 It's a brain freeze, bro. Let's get it, hurry. Hey, let's do it, bro. It's in the long time coming. Yeah. Oh, shit. I'm too excited. Yeah! Again. <laughs> Absolutely again. <laughs> 